Hello, all back again. This time I'm going to show you how to install and set up TV head end on a Raspberry Pi. So the first thing we want to do is download, what's it, a uh, Raspberry Pi OS Lite. So I'll go to Downloads. Just scroll down a little bit. Scroll to the bottom and you'll see Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit Lite. You can either download the Tolerant or download the Zip. I'm going to uh, download the Zip. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel that. I'll just close that down. I'm going to use a bit of software called uh, Raspberry Pi Imager to uh, burn the image to an SD card. So I'll just start that. Just choose the OS. You can download them via this, but I prefer to download them and save them. And that's my uh, download file. So just click on it. Then uh, choose SD card which is the right one. It normally does pick the right one. And then click right. Doesn't take too long to uh, write the uh, light image. But I'll just speed it up a little bit. And now it's just verifying. Uh, nearly done. And click uh, continue. And you can close that down now. Right, thing you need to do now is unplug the SD card from your PC and then plug it back in because we need to add a little text file so we can shush into the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to open up my PC and there's my Raspberry Pi. Just double click on it. Now just right click in an empty space. We want to go new, uh, text file. Call it SSH. And thing you want to uh, remove is the dot text. So you just want SSH. And you click yes. If you don't see the file types at the end of your file, just click view and then tick this box for file extensions and it'll show you the uh, file types. So I'll close that down. You can unplug the SD card now from your PC and plug it into your Raspberry Pi for the first time. Right, we're going to log into the Raspberry Pi now using a bit of software called Putty. So I'll just start that up. And you will log in with the uh, IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Have a look in your router settings to find it. So that's mine, 192.168.144. Just click yes. I'll just move this over to the centre. Default login is Pi and Raspberry. First thing we're going to do is update the Raspberry Pi. So sudo app update. Just right click to paste it and click enter. Uh, this first part doesn't take too long to do. Just checking to see if there's any updates. Now we copy this bit of text, sudo app upgrade. Just copy it and right click to paste. Then just click enter again on your keyboard. And just click uh, Y on your keyboard, then enter to update. This can take a little while, but it is, uh, it's not too bad. 
I'll just speed it up a bit. Uh, nearly done. And it's done. Thing I would do is do a reboot now. So you just want to do sudo reboot. So it's S-U-D-O reboot. I'll just type that in. Sudo and a reboot. And just click enter on your keyboard. Uh, click OK. Now I'm just going to shut down Putty again. Just give your Raspberry Pi, say, about 30 seconds to reboot. And I'll just open up Patty again. Just use the IP address again of the Raspberry Pi. And click Open. Uh, log in again, which is Pi and uh, Raspberry. Now we're going to install TV head end. So I'll just copy the text, sudo app install TV uh, head end. Just right click to paste it again and click enter. And it'll start downloading. And click yes. On your, uh, click Y on your keyboard, then enter for yes. I'll just speed this bit up. Right now you want to enter a name. I'm just going to call it a TV head name. TV head end, not TV head name, TV head end. Then just click enter on your keyboard. Now enter a password. And click enter on your uh, keyboard again. And then enter again for OK. Now it's going to finish installing, which can take a little while. So I'll speed through this part. Nearly done. And we're all done now. Right, that's all done, so I can close down the uh, putty. Uh, okay. Thing we're gonna do now is set up a TV head end. So you log in to TV head end with the IP address of your Raspberry Pi plus 9981. So, IP address of the Raspberry Pi. And then uh, comma 9981. And now log in with the username and password we set up earlier. So uh, TV head end. I'll just type that in. And then the password. And then click sign in. Right, first thing we want to do is set up a web interface language. So I'll go English GB. And then we want to set up the EPG language. Uh, where are you? Oh, there you are. English GB. And then click Save and Next. Now we've got Network Access. I'm just going to leave that blank. If you want to set up an admin login or a user login, you just fill in these parts. I don't want to uh, log in via a password or anything, so I just put star in each one. And that way I don't have to use a password, name or password. So click save and next. 
Right, first one is network one, which is IPTV. I'm going to leave that blank. I'm going to be using the next ones. I'm using two uh, PC TV dongles. So the first one is uh, DVB-T. Just scroll down a bit. There are twin tuners. Uh, DVB-C. Uh, T again. And C again. That's just the two cards. The first two are one card. And the other two are the other card. They're uh, both USB dongles. So save and next. So we're first off we're going to go into predefined uh, like muxes. Can't remember how they're pronounced. I'm not going to be using these. All I want to use is uh, DVB-T network. So I'm going to scroll down to my nearest transmitter, which is uh, Crystal Palace. I'll find you in a minute. Where are you? Got oh, Sweden's got a few. Come on. Where's the UK? There we go. And the nearest one to me, Crystal Palace. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Just click it and click save and next. Right, that's done. Now it's going to scan for channels. Doesn't take too long to do. If you have a look in found services, that's the channels it's found so far. Uh, was it uh, found under 145 channels? So I click save and next. Uh, map all services and cre uh, create provider and network. You can tick all three. Save and next. And that part's finished. And there's the uh, channels. You want to give it sort of like five or ten minutes to update the EPG data. If you don't see any EPG, you need to change uh, one setting or a couple. So go into configuration, channel EPG. You need, there's uh, two tabs missing, so we have to change a setting to get them to show up. So if you go into general and use that interface level, you want to change it from basic to expert. Then click save. Now if we go back into uh, configuration. Then back into channel and EPG. You'll notice now we've got a few extra tabs. So if I click on the end one, EPG grabber. If I scroll right down to the bottom, I want Freeview UK. And as you can see, it's not on. It's not running. So if I click on it, and then in the right hand panel, I've got enabled. Just tick the box. Then click save. I'll just scroll down to make sure it's running. Yep, that's running. So I go back into the guide. And now, so you give it five, ten minutes, and you should start seeing the EPG data update. Right, so that's all done. I'll just uh, minimize that. The thing I'll do now, I'll show you the app I use running on a Fire Cube. You can also use it on a Fire Stick. So I'll just go to my TV. Hello. Right, I'll show you the app I use on my Fire Cube. It's called uh, Dream Player TV. All you need to do is go into search and search for TV. Head end, and it normally comes up. There is a free version, which I think uh, only plays about five channels, and the full version, I think it'll cost you about two pounds, or a little bit cheaper, I'm not too sure, I can't remember. So I'll just go back to the main page, and click Dream Player. So there's all my main channels, HD, uh, radio, and SDTV. So I'll just go up to say BBC One. 
desperate measures. Not only did he offer violence, he drove the car in such a manner that it nearly hit a 13-year-old daughter. But his car and his fake number plates reveal a hidden secret. BBC One, I go to BBC Two. They work profitably even uh, at that uh, level. They're not sure what consumer demand is going to look like. Are people going to go back to pubs? Go to and... Itself because you've been obviously going through, um, obviously going through fabric. So you want to do it really properly. But yeah, that's kind of it. That's basically my beginner's class. If you to push do down on your remote. And I think it's nice. You've got your EPG data. Got about 10, Do you have seconds left. Yeah. Uh, so I like I want to record something. Dolly on the sofa. So I've got, what's that, Chase the Case? Oh, you want to see I'll click on it. Doll. And you can go oh, into doll. Record. It's on, it's on Just select it. That's been added to the timers. She's fine, actually. She's absolutely fine. She's basically had more uh, time with me than she's ever had in her entire life. She's she looks really happy. really happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dog. Brilliant. <laughs> My house is... Go to uh, Channel 4 HD. And not paying any attention to her, which I thought was quite rude. Oh dear. Perhaps Katrina can finish with a flourish. <laughs> I can't use them, the two. Just go back to the main menu. And that's the uh, Dream Player on a Firecube. 